I'm Genevieve Tudor. This is Sunday Folk. We have um, a not quite live music on the programme uh, because we have Ed Conway um, and the unlawful men, except there's only an unlawful man with him. Um, so they've come in, they've sent me a CD, which I have been listening to, and sitting in front of me without a care in the world are the very delightful Ed and Anthony from Tell Me. <laughs> Town, or time zone, <laughs> or band? Which would you prefer? Have, having looked at your hip flask, Ed, I think, I think we'll go for the band first, shall Which we? is now empty, as I, as I pointed out to you. Uh, yes, uh, Ed Conway and the Unlawful Men. How long have you been singing and playing, Ed? Uh, me, personally, quite a long time. Uh, I think, seriously, since about 1992. Uh, I learned to play guitar when I was much younger than that, obviously. Uh, not that I'm that old now. Exactly, of course. I was going to say. But uh, in 1992, uh, I started going to the Unicorn Folk Club just outside Newport, and that's when I started playing in front of an audience, really. What was that like? Uh, I, I enjoyed it a lot, and, uh, and I've never been a musician who likes to learn uh, how to play something properly. I like going out and playing in front of an audience. So, <laughs> so you know, you get four chords and half of the words and, and that's it, get out in front of an audience. So that's that's kind of how it went right from the beginning. Yeah. Do you still go to the Unicorn to play? Uh, we are actually, as a band, going to play at the Unicorn uh, next Friday, I think uh, it is. Yeah. yeah, it's coming Friday. Uh, which will be great for me to return there uh, under my own name and, and I think Vicky, the organiser, who's been running the club for 30 years now, uh, will be delighted to, to welcome us there as, as one of her success stories, in inverted commas. <laughs> <laughs> That's great, yes, it has, uh, it's a good club, isn't yes, it? It's been yeah. going for a long time and yes. successfully. Yes, it, it's, uh, it's had its ups and downs and, and Vicky has got you know, one or two health issues at the moment and, and whether it continues in its current state much beyond uh, this uh, autumn, uh, uh, Easter, is remains to be seen, but it's it's a great club, some good, good people. And Vicky has always been a fantastic supporter of up-and-coming musicians and, and giving people a chance. Absolutely, yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, Anthony, you're in the yes, band? I am, yes. And I... how do you two know each other? I've known Ed for a few years now. 2007. That's a, that's <laughs> a good, good memory there, Ed. Oh, <laughs> yes, 2007. Was yeah. that when you auditioned and became a member of the band? At, at that time, um, I didn't actually play any instruments at all. Still doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, you could say that. Yeah. Um, no, we met at a music festival in Newport. Yes. Which is at, um, at the festival. And Ed was in one of the bands that was playing there. I was in the audience getting quite drunk. <laughs> no. And he bought a CD, which which yeah. <laughs> always endears me to people. Absolutely. And and in my drunken stupor, I went and said hello to him. Yeah. <laughs> and it sort of um, went on from there, really, didn't it? Yes. And you yeah. saw his potential and <laughs> said, come and join my band well, when well, you can play an instrument. Uh, I've I've played in lots of bands over many years and, and I've always wanted to do... In, in recent times, I've wanted to go back to playing folk music my way, for want of a better word. And one of the things that I learned from a lot of people, starting with Vicky and through other people I've played in bands with, is, is learning folk songs n not from a folk perspective. And so when I put the band together, I wanted people who were new new musicians, new to the genre, so that we could, we could start afresh. They had no preconceptions. And Anthony was was uh, one of the, the three people that, that I recruited originally with that in mind. And it was, I, I won't tell you what this song's called, I won't tell you where you can find it, I'll just play it for you and, and let's see what we can do with it. That's a really good idea. Shall we have a listen to how you sound then? If you must, yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, to be fair, I know how we sound. So, well, uh, there is that. <laughs> I, I know how we, how we think we sound. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and this is how you sound on the radio. <laughs> Taken on board by a pleasant crew, all bound for a man. 
aside in three and thirty days. We were taken as passengers by the man and led round in six different ways. Then each of us drank a parting glass in case we'd meet no more. We drank a health to old Ireland and had his green champagne. Paddy's Green Shamrock Show. And that is Ed Conway and the Unlawful Men. Ed, where did that name come from? Uh, it's actually a line. Uh, there's a, a line in one of the songs, uh, Smugglers, where the, the line is, can you not live a lawful life and live with lawful men? And so I just, uh, unlawful men. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously, it come, comes from there. Right, OK, Yes. Good idea, because sometimes band names are difficult to choose, aren't they? Yes. Well, my <laughs> my name is Ed Conway, so that bit was easy. It was it was just it was just the rest of Isn't the band. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Could almost have been made for you. Well, this it, band. well it, it could be. Yeah. It's, Gosh. it's only taken thirty years, I guess, to to get there. <laughs> <laughs> Anthony, when when you'd sobered up. <laughs> and yeah. realised you were part of this band that Ed was putting together. Um, you play Baran, yeah? I do, yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, yes, fine. Um, <laughs> we, we tend not to talk what? about it. <laughs> yeah. It's a very skilled thing to play Baran. <laughs> oh dear, he's leaving now. Um, <laughs> Anthony, what did you think of the music that you were being asked to play? I actually quite like the music um when i was growing up i always had a slightly folk uh background um being half irish i just remember going on journeys in the car and my parents are going to kill me for saying this but uh, being forced to listen to likes of foster and allen <laughs> while, <Okay. laughs> while, while sat in sat in the back of the car um so that sort of burned into my brain <laughs> so that's sort of now sort of coming back out so for me to play folk music is by me is no, no problem whatsoever. Did you admit this to your friends? Uh, uh, yeah, uh, some of them. Some of them. Okay. You have to tell the truth on the radio. <laughs> yeah, I, I think the rest of them just found out. <laughs> found out by by mistake. Yes, yeah. when you were doing a gig. Yeah. What? So you you like the music that you're playing? So yeah, it yeah. didn't come as too much of a shock to you. No. Um, I've been going to folk sessions at, at local pubs for a, a few years now and through that I've got to know a lot of the um, folk songs that are going about, um, not just the popular ones that everybody knows, but some of the slightly more obscure ones. Um, whereas Ed will now come up with a song and think, oh, I recognise that name, because of the of the, the folk circuit that I've I've been involved with. So you're really enjoying it? Yes, yeah, yeah. I'm enjoying it. There yeah. are some songs that, that he knows better than I do when, when we start them. Yeah. I'm not saying we, we then pursue them in that style, but uh, but at least he's got an idea of what it's all about. And what about the other members of the band, Ed? Who else is in the band? Uh, we, we've got uh, a guy called Ben Morehouse who plays mandolin, uh -huh. uh, and he's been playing uh, in Vicky's Folk Band, actually, f for a few years and, and going to the folk club that way, and, and started like pretty much like myself, wanted an outlet for his mu music and so went to the folk club and Vicky gave him that chance. Uh, again, he, he will probably say he's not a folky, but but he plays mandolin, so... Uh, so uh, well, he has to be then. Uh, yeah, <laughs> of course obligatory. he does. So, so bringing him on is good. We, we've got a bass player called John Thompson, who's a very good musician, actually. Uh, lead guitarist is how I met him. I was playing in a... 
<clears throat> a covers band, uh, you know, doing weddings and stuff like that, and he was a lead guitarist, and, and he wanted to do something different. So I asked him if he wanted to come and play bass in a folk band, and, and again, he'd got no points of reference, either as a bass player, really, or as in terms of the material. So that's that's really interesting, what he does with the bass. Um, and the newest member is Simon Carswell, who's who we brought in on piano, and, and he really is a great musician. So, so the new stuff that we're working on now with the piano in is is kind of at another level. So that's interesting. That's yeah, you are the Simon Cowell of um, <laughs> of Newport, aren't you? Really? No, I don't think so. <laughs> I, I'd like to think of myself more of Louis, I guess. <laughs> I'm a little bit older and, and, and not quite as. Yeah. Just, I was going to say not quite as mean as Simon Cowell, <laughs> but Anthony may have a different opinion. <laughs> <laughs> not not so much of it. I've noticed your waistband's not quite high enough yet, Ed. No, no. <laughs> well, around this waist, it's hard to get a high waistband. <laughs> so you you put the band together. Um, yes. How long have you been working together now? Uh, we started in January 2014, so last year. Last year. Yeah. That's when we started working on the songs for the CD, and the idea was to record the songs it wasn't a band that has evolved and done gigs. Mm. I wanted to put a set of songs together to record under my name, basically. So that's why why we started working. And then gigs came along yeah. as a result of that. And so, then, obviously, you have to turn it round to go out and play to sell uh, a CD. So, so that's kind of where we're at now, a year later. And especially looking at the unicorn, that's important for especially this Friday mm-hmm. because it's going to be the anniversary of our first performance. Oh, right. Because yes. that's where we played, did our first four songs as a group. That's right, yes. 12 yeah. months ago. Yeah. And have the songs evolved? You you got together, you made the CD and you've been playing the songs live for a little while, have you? Y- yes, uh, I mean, throughout, throughout the year. Uh, and I think they naturally take on certain nuances but but because we learnt them to record them that is kind of how we play them so, yeah mm. so uh there are little things where you'll put a break or a stop or you'll get some audience participation going so so there's always that improvisation but the songs really were arranged to within an inch of their lives when we started yeah. work on the recording so yeah some have involved a little bit more with the addition of the piano. Yes, having brought brought a piano in, which didn't appear on all the songs on the record, we've had, we've had to change them for that. For example. Yeah, but that's quite interesting, isn't yes. it? Um, just line up the next track we're going to play from your CD. Okay. Now, it, where can we hear you? We can hear you, uh, Vicky. Now, you better yes. actually give us the. <laughs> Address of yes. the club and things rather okay. than I know where it is. Yes. And I know Vicky, but. So on, on Friday, which is the 6th of February, it's the Unicorn Folk Club, which is held at the Bradford Arms at Ivertsey Bank on the A5 in, I think that's Staffordshire. But, yes, it but is. It's, it's, yeah, it's on it's the on, cusp. It's on, it's on, the, it's on the board. Yeah. So, so we're playing a set there. Uh, and then we're on this mini tour to promote the CD. So from there, on the 15th of February, we're in the Sandbrook Vaults in Market Drayton. On the 20th of February, we're in Morton, which is a village between Newport and Stafford. Uh, 25th of February, we're in Stone at the Swan Inn, which is a great pub that promotes live music. And uh, so they will allow a folk band to play in their pub, which is great. And then Sunday, the 1st of March, with the Huntsman and Little Wenlock, which is uh, Telford. So we've called it a tour. It's really eight, <laughs> eight dates. <laughs> eight dates of... That's a tour. We yeah. cover two counties, though. Well, two yes. counties. Two yes. counties. Yeah. Two uh, counties. <laughs> and, and actually, on this programme, you cover four. Excellent. Because we're doing Stoke and we do Hereford and Worcester. Yes. And Shropshire, so yeah. you've your tour has expanded immediately by coming in here. Excellent. Yeah. Well, there we go. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And, Fantastic. Uh, and, and then hopefully uh, after after Easter we'll be at a couple of festivals, and then we're working on a new CD right now, which is is being recorded. So that once we've done that and it's released, we'll try and go out to promote that. So that'll be later in the year. How can we find you? Uh, 
Is there I've a... got no idea, Anthony. You can answer that question. <laughs> well, mo- most people, if they drive to Newport and ask for Ed, they'll know who you are. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, you can find us on, on Facebook. I'm sure if you type in Ed Conway and Lawful Men, we're, we're bound to pop up. We do. When, when I do. go on Facebook, it pops up. Excellent. That's because you're in the group. Yes. Yeah, yes, I know. <laughs> Yeah, so you haven't got a website, but Facebook we, we, will... We do have a website. Oh, you do? Website, All right, OK. Which is uh, www.edconwayandinlawfulmen.com. No. .co.uk. Yes. <laughs> .com. <laughs> it, I'm looking at it there. It's .co.uk, definitely. .co.uk. Yes. OK. Splendid stuff. Thank you very much. Let's have a listen to this. <laughs> Days have you lingered around my cabin? 
Ed Conway and the Unlawful Men. Hard Times, Stephen Foster's song. <laughs> 